President Trump has been dominating the headlines all week after he posted a series of allegedly racist tweets saying a group of female Democrat politicians should go back to help fix the totally broken and crime-infested places from which they came. What do you make of the developments so far? They are oh, talking about goodness. this Democratic Congresswoman, uh, yeah. obviously, um, Ilhan Omar, who... Um, who actually is making more headlines than she probably has ever done mm -hmm. off the back of this mm. and this cry certainly from from the the people behind him there but yeah what do you make of it so far well i mean it was a it was a lengthy speech that and um, for tw he's 20 minutes of it he spent um criticizing the uh, what they're now being known as the squad these four, um, four women. female democrats um, within some of the false claims that he made, one of them was that Ilan Omar supported Al-Qaeda. The chance I found absolutely chilling, and he apparently was on the radio this... Uh, he, he has then since said that he was really uncomfortable with those chants and that actually he spoke a lot quicker to, to try and stop them. But he didn't. I think it was Nick Fer on Nick Ferrari's show this morning, he was saying that it was actually 13 seconds. You saw him standing, watching. That it was racist and he was inciting hate. Homeland Security have actually warned now that they, that all those women now are under heightened threats. Imagine being, I mean, three of those women were born in the country. Imagine being the children today in America that are also born first generation to immigrants, ha having the president talk like that. It, for me, it's completely unforgivable, and that's the leader of the free world. Mm -hmm. um, I actually agree with you about the chance. I thought it made for very uncomfortable viewing. Mm. It was totally out of order, and absolutely, yes, I agree, he should have done more to stop it, mm. and he should have said something at the time. Uh, furthermore, I don't think that he should rise to the amount of criticism and abuse that he gets himself. Um, I think it makes him as bad as the people that are criticising him. And I, and I think it plays to both sides of the argument. It plays to his uh, supporters and it plays to the other side as well. So I think all of that, I, I, I agree, mm. all right? But having said that, his tweet was completely misreported out of context, the way that he actually wrote it, it was in three separate parts, and nobody bothered to point out that he said that um, where they originally came from, right? Originally. Now, I know three of them were born in the, in the United States, but originally he's talking about the heritage and the countries that, that are a bit messed up and do need help, and they're constantly trying to tell him how to run America. So that's what no, he was saying. Citizens, no, the point was they're politicians. No, but the point was at the end of that tweet, he said, and then go and sort that, those countries out. He didn't simply say, go back to where you come from, we don't mm -hmm. want you. He said, go and sort the countries out and then come back and tell yeah. us you not well, find how it to do it. Hang on. Did you not find well, it racist? Though? Can I can I just not before you do no, that? You I'll, didn't. I'll no. give you a, a very, very because there's a longer tweet, but the bit that you're you're yeah. talking about there specifically, word for word, he said, why don't they go back and help fix the totally broken and crime-infested places from which they came, then come back and show us how it is done. These places need your help badly. You can't leave fast enough. So that's the yeah. portion of but this the tweet that we're said talking originally about. Yes. From. Yes. The they are who originally came citizens. from yes, countries whose governments are complete total catastrophe, is what he said. But there are American citizens, politicians, discussing what, can they, what they can do about that country. It's totally insane to suggest that what they do is go back to the par their parents' country of origin. Yeah, but if they're, trying, it out, it's dismissing if they're, them, if it's they're trying to tell him how to do the job, a job that he has been democratically elected for... But the politicians. It's not their job to say how he is. should do his job. Just, if he's trying but, to defend no, but, what but he's Carol, saying... But in politics, if you look at the reported. If you look at Labour and Conservative, they're always telling each other how they should run the country. That is politics. Yeah. They do but you criticise each other but, but, all the time. And I said he shouldn't rise to the criticism. He shouldn't, because it's playing to his audience and to theirs. So he shouldn't. But having said that, the tweet was not reported correctly. 
And but it, everybody is now saying, oh, all he said was, go back to where you come from. But, I, but that's the whole not tweet, what he's saying. We've now read the whole tweet, yes, to me, exactly. is inciting hatred. It is still as racist if you take the first three lines, the middle three lines, or the last three lines. He knew exactly what he was doing. He stood there for 13 he seconds does while people went, go home, go home. I found that chilling, the well, anger, I agree the rage, with you. I the hate. Said I agree with you. And, and well, he needs to be pulled up with it by the whole world needs to pull him up on that. Because well, otherwise, what are we? And he needs to be impeached. But that was, no, that no, was, no, I'm not that's saying the very impeached. essence I'm of not how saying he impeached. became president. And we were in New York when this was all happening, the whole yeah. presidential campaign, and every one of his big rallies was that. Yeah. So before he even became president, people knew doing... that that's what the essence of yeah. this was. He knows exactly what he's doing. Yes, it is. And it's, you mentioned the word audience, and for me, that's the crucial part. I think he, he likes an audience. Yeah. And if they start cheering about something, it's almost like, oh... I'm quite enjoying my moment, as opposed yeah. to being presidential about what he has to do. You know what, Syrah, you, you, your parents were immigrants, like my father is an immigrant. We're both born in this country. As a child, if a prime minister has stood up and said that, how would that left you, have left you feeling? Well, listen, this is, this is really, really difficult for me to, to be sitting here in 2019 um, talking about the president of the free world um, who should be sending an example to the rest of the world on how to run a country, how to have a debate without being homophobic, without being racist, without being misogynistic. He is an example. And I grew up in this country. I was born in England and two immigrant parents. And you know what? I grew up in the 70s listening to speeches that were, were, were put on the TV by Enoch Powell, the rivers of blood speech. I was told constantly, go back from where you came from. And I would say, what, Nottingham? You know, because that's where I came from. <laughs> and, and, you know, my mum came to this country. She left all of her family. They were invited to this country because this country needed labour. They needed a workforce. They left everything behind and they have contributed. That My parents were law-abiding citizens. We've paid our taxes. We have been... I am a citizen of this country and there are certain words that take you back to a time in this country where it was really Awful. racist. Mm -hmm. We had signs outside this country saying no blacks, no dogs, no Irish, and that they were visible. So when the president and, 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 and Carol, I have, well, however it's been reported, I've read the tweet. Mm. I've got a degree, I'm an intelligent person. This tweet where he says, why no don't- No said you wasn't. I know, I'm saying... And it doesn't mean, I, you know, by but saying I'm that, saying why, like saying I am. No, no, I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying, to me, he, he these words because are racist words. you're picking out those words from a tweet that's... But, OK, that's, well, I've read... Totally, I've, so you're doing it out of context again. OK, I've read the whole tweet. Yes, the whole tweet and, and, I, and, I, and I will Christine say to you, I can read the whole tweet, and the essence of that tweet was racist, in the sense that he is telling people of a country where they were born to go back to their original and the countries. Wife, the choice of the word crime infested. To me, to me, his wife Melania, which is this, I find incredible. She is she in the time she's been an American citizen is less time than those three American citizens that he has criticised. And I would like to say. He's no, not saying No, he's that. not saying just not go saying back there. He was dressed up in a longer tweet, but the essence of that... Did we all just see that film? Did we just all see yes, that film? Yes, OK, nobody, no, but that, nobody thinks that's but good. This is the atmosphere, and it's dangerous. It's really, really dangerous. It's dangerous, well, but it's also very sad, I think, that if you are having a debate in politics, that you have to stoop to that level. Yeah. We, we, I would not expect that of my politicians in this country. Mm. I would well, not. Well, you need to look into some of the things that, that the, the woman he's having a go at has said. And that she has put out some pretty anti-Semitic stuff. Which oh, well, she would criticise She did do that back in February and had to apologise yeah, for, exactly. for tweets as well. So there's been a bit of to and fro, and this is a, a longer <coughs> story Two than this. do not make but, a right. No, of course, of no. course. And, and again, it will always depend on what you know, argument you're coming from, isn't it? But it's, it's, as you say, I don't think anyone will, will watch that rally and think, oh, yeah, that's it's a not great good. day. No, it's no. not a great it's day. It's not friend. good, and I think in this country, we build our country and success on multiculturalism. We have just won the Cricket World Cup. Mm. You look at that team, it is as diverse as is has ever been. We're making progress. Please, let's not go back to the 1970s. Yeah. We really love mm. that.